On this episode, I, I'm really excited for this one. I, this, this one, we welcome one of our own, uh, Megan Ferris. Megan, uh, very long, kind of windy road to, from travel nurse to supervisor to travel nurse to travel nurse recruiter. Ah, to flight nurse to travel nurse recruiter. Mm-hmm. So we welcome her for the first time in the office. Megan Ferris, welcome to The Atlas Life. All right, Megan, welcome. Thank you. And of course, Hannah, recruiter. Always here. <laughs> so that now, no, that's what she said jokes this time. I that's, already triple I, dog dared her. I have to. Oh. Okay, all right. Well, you so ruined it. For no, any, well, now we can't do it. For anyone that watches the podcast, it took us 26 episodes to stay clean until Hannah joined us. And then, of course, <laughs> so. So, Megan, give me a kind of give me a breakdown. When let's start with when you joined us and then we'll work our way back. How's okay. that? Right. So, when did you decide I want to be a recruiter and I want to re- be a recruiter with Alice? Ooh, so I think the fall of last year, I was like, say, Hannah, you love your job. I've done this a little bit on the other side. Okay. So can, do you guys have any remote jobs? So yeah. Okay. So it turns out we did. Mm-hmm. So it turns out we did, right? I mean, that was something that we had talked about for quite some time was mm-hmm. who knows the job better than a nurse, right? Mm-hmm. Not that we don't, right? I understand that there's... It takes a certain kind of person to be a nurse. It takes a certain kind of person to be a recruiter, mm-hmm. right? And the recruiter doesn't necessarily have to be a nurse and vice versa. But you find people from time to time that have both qualities, right? And you had both qualities. Trying. And, and, well, we knew that early <laughs> on, right? Yeah. I mean, because we're pretty picky. It happens. We get questions. We get asked a lot. Mm-hmm. Nurses that want to stop nursing and become a recruiter. Mm-hmm. Good Lord, why? I don't know. But... <laughs> She has not stopped nursing. She still works on the weekends. Well, sure. I, I, yeah. But I think that's good, though, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, you keep your feet on the ground. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So take me back, because it's been a journey. <laughs> Six-ish years, mm-hmm. at least with Hannah, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. So let's start Let's start from the very beginning with Hannah. Oh, I'm going to start. You Did start you, it. Do no, it. you start. Do it. So I was in Maine, and um, Maine's pretty rural. There's some, you know, pretty urban areas, but... I was like, I need to get into some medicine. I need to get my hands dirty again. And I want to start at some IVs, man, and do some stuff. Like, and do you can't crazy do, stuff. You couldn't do you that can, in Maine? You can, but you, there's not so many chest tubes and all the stuff that comes along with okay. it. Like, I want some traumas. I want some mangled body parts. An ER nurse. <laughs> I, like, I want some things. ER nurse. Yeah. So, um, I get a hold of her from a, a, referral. A, a, a nurse that I worked with in Belfast, Maine. Okay. She was like, I have this awesome recruiter. Here's her number. And I'm like, cool. So I call her, we click and hit it off. And she put me into three jobs. It was like Greenville. It was somewhere in Maryland or DC area and Vegas mm. and Vegas won. Mm. You know, I mean, they for call. some reason. Yeah, they call. Yeah. Sure. And she, I mean, really your trauma, you didn't really have a lot of trauma. No, not And as you're a nurse. still friends with this manager who interviewed you, like yes. really good friends. She's my man of honor. Yeah. She basically <laughs> said, I have no reason to hire you, but I have a gut feeling and I'm going to go with it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So? Interesting. Yeah. Huh. So first contract in Las Vegas. Yep. Drive from Maine to Las Vegas. <sighs> How was that? Mm-hmm. Dog Long, and toe. I had to add a van my dog. Like yeah. seriously, and Xanax and add a van and it still didn't work. But crazy yes. dog in general. <laughs> Her name is Yahtzee. The dog's name is Yahtzee. Yes. And That's it a fits, great name. It fits perfectly. That is a great name. So yeah. <laughs> So get in my car, drive cross country, stop at, you know, the gas station, come and go. And I'm like, that's real. That's real. Okay. Keep mm-hmm. going. Right. That's mm-hmm. Nebraska. That's yeah. Nebraska. There is a gas station chain called come and go mm-hmm. with the K with the, yes, <laughs> nothing weird. No, kind of <laughs> See, that, still weird. The, the rest <laughs> of the spelling's weird, but anyways, yes. So, um, get to Vegas and I'm like, Whoa, this place is huge. Not Vegas, the, the facility. I'm yeah. like, wow. Which one was it? Um, sunrise. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. level two, but you know, mm-hmm. busiest one in in the Las Vegas, closest one to strip the whole nine. Sure. So I get there and it's fun, it's good times, and um, getting my butt kicked on the daily. Call Hannah and I'm like, man, this is a busy assignment. Whew, I don't know, man. She's like, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine. 
I totally just, got this. You know, you're totally. got this. <laughs> Rock this. You know, fingers crossed. Just you know. Um, so then I take report from a nurse in station two. Okay. You even remember the station? Oh, I wow. remember exactly the moment it happened. What a love story. <laughs> I just ruined it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dang it. So, um, like, not very long into the assignment, I'm like, so can we talk about an extension, Hannah? Because I just want to hang out in Vegas sure. for a little while longer. I really like this desert heat. Yeah, it's really nice. It's 120 degrees outside, mm -hmm. and you don't even sweat because it just evaporates off you. I really like it here. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was totally why you wanted to stay. Totally. totally. Yes. And a, a girl named Crystal. So. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And then we stayed in Vegas. Or I stayed and then in I Vegas. lost her. Yeah. She was a one and done. Perm. Yep. Just, like, just that. like that. Because of Crystal. Yes. Yep. Right? Yes. yes. But that's not the end of the story. Mm mm. Okay. So. Fast forward. Two years, right? Yeah. Two years, almost okay. to the day. Um, we're ready to go. Uh, we like quit. 2014? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm like, I want to I wanna travel again. Crystal's like, let's do it. We're going to do it. Let's go. And we sold everything that we owned and moved into an 18-foot travel trailer. Wow. Yeah. Two With dogs. the dog. Two, two dogs. dogs. Oh, she had a dog, too. Yeah, yes. cool, black lab. Oh, geez. Yachty, crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chihuahua. Something. Mm, something. Mm -hmm. Was she from Vegas originally? Yep. Is that Okay, yep. I guess I didn't know. Yep. Okay. So we fell okay. in love over a cracked chest, but yeah. Awesome. A cracked chest. Yeah. yeah. I can just remember the exact <laughs> moment, right? Like we met each other and I was like, mm. hi. <laughs> and then like a little while later, we were like in the trauma room in cracked chest, the whole nine. And I remember looking up being like, this is so cool. And just like, yeah. <laughs> and that nice. was, yeah. Not too many beating hearts that you can be like, I fell in love over a beating heart that I saw with my own two eyes. And it wasn't Literally. yours or hers. No. Yeah. Right? So no metaphors here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Literally. Yes. There's a heart right there. So, wow. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 2014, pack it up, hit the road. Yep. Call Hannah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Call her. Hi. I'm like, yo, I told here. you I'd come back. I mm -hmm. told you I'd come back. And she's like, let's do this. Yep. So Chris is the New York nurse, too. So we decided to go. First stop, Texas. Oh, yeah. Next. Next We're in Texas. Uh, Houston. Oh, boy. We're going with the Houston area. Okay, mm -hmm. Houston area. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. We're not giving away too much. No? It's really hot. Sure, yeah. The next stop, bugs fly there. St other st stupid kind of heat. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sorry, Houston friends, sure. but... Cockroaches that fly. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. She can't get over the humidity here, and I'm like, you should have been here last week. This oh, is nothing. Oh, this is yeah. nothing. Yeah. Houston humidity. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That, yeah, okay. You, I don't, yeah, I don't know how you survived. Right. Whew. Yeah. A lot of beer in Captain Morgan. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next stop, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. Yeah. Extension. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Had fun. Next stop, Denver. Denver. Yeah. And that's where we first met. So we had never met over the course of like four years. Wow. We had never met each other. These poor girls, they get off night shift and we were we were up in the mountains. What? Like, Key, where were we? Uh, Loveland. Yeah. 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 Oh. And, uh, okay. They drive up after their 12-hour shift, n absolutely no sleep. Bags. And so Bags. the first thing we do when we get there, she's like, let's have a drink. Mm. So that's the first picture we have together is mm -hmm. us taking shots with my mother. With our mom, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. And then they taught me how to ski. Once again, though, no, no, no. typical ER nurse, right? Mm -hmm. There's every ER nurse I've ever met before has no problem getting off a 12-hour shift, driving somewhere, mm -hmm. and drinking. Let's do this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's do this. You, yeah. have to, you have to decompress. I mean, like, everybody has their own vices, mm -hmm. right? Sure. So we're all decompressing from our jobs our day somehow. Somehow. There's, yeah. like, a theme of drinking here, though, so. A really not an alcoholic mom. Running. She's yeah. not. No. She went um, for a run. <laughs> but um, we, get, we meet in Colorado. And yeah. she says I taught her how to ski. Really? Mm mm. Mm mm. No. They gave me a helmet. Mm -mm. No, she scared mm. us so much that Crystal took her own helmet off and put it on Hannah because we were afraid she was gonna like Superman style, not in a good way. I'm a great um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. The whole pizza There's thing. There's no mm -hmm. video footage. Of no. That. I do have video footage. Send it to you. I if send it to send it to oh. Jamie and we'll uh, we'll make sure it's we'll make sure it's yeah. included in the video. All you hear is me laughing and the camera moving, but you see <laughs> Hannah just dish, dish, and I can't get up. Perfect. Sheesh. Going Perfect. 30 miles an hour, though. Like, there was no slowing down. It was just go. I didn't know the pizza yet. Just the French fries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Isn't it snow plow? Isn't it snow plowing? When you well, they tell little pizza? kids pizza. Oh, pizza. Pizza, French fries. It was all French fries and then oh. trees for her. Okay, yeah. yeah. I got you. 
No concussions, though. Interesting. Because you had a helmet. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Yeah. So then Denver... And, and they say goodbye again. Oh. Well, Did you stay in Denver? Then? No. Is that... So we moved to Reno from there. Um, okay. So Crystal uh, was applying to medical school all throughout our travels. Yep. And she got in. So we went to Reno for medical school. Now, at some point in between then and there, you got married, correct? Oh, yeah. That happened, too. Minor so, detail. Yeah. Yep. There's a thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we got engaged between Massachusetts and Colorado. So okay. that was fun. Okay. Good engagement, yes. Um, and then in the summer, two years ago, we got married. Okay. So in between her like first and second year of medical school, we got married. Awesome. That was my first time in Vegas was their wedding. Was it like an Elvis wedding? Did you, did you go totally to No, it was one of those like little fancy places. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I kind of wanted to go big or go home, so we hey, did. Why I, not? I won. Why not? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Interesting. She comes, I, you know, I invite her to the wedding. I'm like, yeah, she's going to, I hope she's going to come. I think she's going to come. And she like, she's like, I'm going to come, but my flight got delayed. So Southwest had a whole bunch of problems. Even like Crystal's yeah. bridesmaid was um, stuck at the airport. She actually drove Their from whole computer system. Do you remember that? When their whole computer, and so they were yeah. rerouting yes. all their passengers to other airlines. Yes. And, yeah. So she was stuck. Yep. And how did you get there? Oh my gosh, I can't even talk about it. Because it was like after I remember dinner, that. It was a legion out of Grand Island. Yeah. With a 24 hour layover. Mm hmm. It was a whole Whoa. ordeal. It was mm -hmm. a whole ordeal. Yeah. I remember, yeah, you were gone yeah. for a couple of days. Yeah. I that. clearly don't remember that, but I was yeah. like getting married and stuff. Right. So I, yeah, exactly. I just remember her being like, I'm here, and she looked great, and that was it. Like, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So yeah. But that so, was when Henry was little. Yeah, and I kept trying to steal your sister in law's baby, baby, and she thought mm. it was creepy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, go on. Well, there you go. Yeah. So then <laughs> it, you're in Reno, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at that point, Baby comes along or no? They're working. Uh, yeah. School. Both are working. Yes. Yeah. School work. School she became work. a flight nurse. Yep. Yeah, I did that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and something happened. You know, planes planes don't always fly. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, do I really want to be a nurse anymore? Because you know, bad things happen. You kind of question. Well, I was also turning, you know, thirty something. So mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna question who I want to be when I grow up, right? Sure. Um. And I wanted to be remote because this year, so fourth year of medical school, we go everywhere. We're like going to be in Chicago, L.A., and all these other places. So mm -hmm. I was like, I need to find something remote so that I can come with because being away, I'm codependent. I don't want to go a month without my wife. Right. So, <laughs> and I know we're having a baby at this point. Like, it's, it's happening. It's like, ha it's, it's happening. Happened. It's okay. happened. It's there. It's happened. There's okay. a thing. It's, yeah. yeah. It's, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. um... I contacted Hannah. I was like, look, man, do you guys do anything like remote? Because you're really happy. And I think that I could probably do it. Mm -hmm. She made it look really easy. It's not, but <laughs> I, it's not as simple. It's not as simple, right. but it's fun. But like, yep. you're talking to someone who's done nothing but medicine. Mm -hmm. So when I had to switch gears, I was like, lots of learning. There's, uh, yes. But Megan has such an interesting perspective. So she's been a travel nurse, but then she's also worked in management positions, working directly with like two really big VMSs. You have Health Trust mm -hmm. and you have Right Sourcing. So yep. she's talking to these contacts. She understands that side of it. Yep. She's mm -hmm. hiring travelers, helping mm -hmm. hire travelers. Mm -hmm. And having been there herself and now, and now being in this position, it's literally full spectrum. Right. It almost got my arms around it. Almost. Almost. Just like, just well, short arms. I got T-Rex arms. T -rex. You haven't been. You've been with us for how long now? Six months. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah. so not yeah, yeah. not a ton of time, yeah, right? Yeah. So, but so six months in, give me an idea of. Did you know? I don't want to say did you bite off more than you could chew because clearly you have. I know you haven't. But give me that. Give me perspective. Hmm. So, um, hmm. I don't think I bought it. It's learning a whole new career, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I mean, I could take care of a person if someone's dying. Like, I know that seems like a big, you know, bite off more than you can chew kind of thing. Sure. But you, like, it's like comes naturally, right? After like 15 years of doing it. To me, that sounds terrifying. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like you, you give epi, you pump on a chest. That's it. You mm -hmm. plug holes and get blood. It's really, really nursing in it. Mm -hmm. you know? But <laughs> this is different. Like you're dealing with relationships and you have to get to know someone really quickly and and also know what uh, other companies are looking for, like mm -hmm. the hospitals, and kind of like just guide people in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people don't always, you know, take your advice and sometimes people do. Mm -hmm. So it's a, I went from not talking on the phone at all. I was like typical. I'd rather text the delivery guy than talk to someone on the phone mm -hmm. to essentially like having that phone glued to my ear. So yep. it's. 
it's helped me a lot. What's your favorite part? Um, other than being able to like have my kids sometimes around while I work. Yeah. But like talking to nurses is actually kind of cool. I obviously I get along with ER Relate nurses to them. pretty mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Right. But like people are excited like about being a nurse. And so like I, I like flashback. I like kind of lost my like do I really want to be a nurse still, right? Mm -hmm. Bad things happen. It kind of makes you question things. Yep. And then talking to people that are super excited about nursing maybe be like, oh, I really do like that. And I can be that person again. So mm -hmm. I went back to working in a hospital too. So I do both. I like do the per diem on the side. Mm -hmm. I got to keep my skills up because right. you know if someone dies in front of me, I want to be able to save them. It's kind of sure. important. Yeah. But, but it, it keeps you grounded too. It keeps your feet mm -hmm. on the ground. So yeah. you can still have those conversations that mm -hmm. maybe, that no offense to Hannah, yeah, Hannah no. could not have, right? 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but there's there's a relational, there's a relationship piece that I, I'm sure probably, like you had mentioned, that's the maybe the hardest part. Mm -hmm. Because you don't necessarily have a relationship with a guy that comes in the ER that might be dying, mm -hmm. right? That you, there, there's not, that doesn't exist. No. But trying to place fellow ER nurse in a hospital, you have to have that relationship, mm -hmm. right? That ha that's key yeah. yep. to this, to to all of this. Mm -hmm. So I can see that. And as so many nurses want to tell you, like about their day. This, ha you know, like it's a it's yep. a way to decompress mm -hmm. again. Yep. I sometimes I get it. Sometimes I pretend to get it. But mm -hmm. like, shoot, you actually you would actually get, get, it. get it. Like you're a great sounding board yep. for, for your nurses. Yeah. Yeah, I would think your conversations are probably longer. Yeah. Because of that. And have a lot bigger words than we know. Lots. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, sometimes, or sometimes it can be like the abbreviated version, sure. like bad trauma, GSW, like cool, that was your night, awesome, moving on. Like, you know, cause, sure. you know, I know a lot mm -hmm. about people in the first 15 minutes that I know them when they're my patient. Gunshot you, wound. Yeah. You smoke, drink, yeah, drugs? You yeah, did good job. Good job. See? Good job. See? I've, it's been not doing the, I've been doing this part for a little while, so I, I've learned a little <laughs> yeah. bit, maybe, just a little bit. Yeah. ER nurses were always probably my favorite, too. I really don't, I don't, I didn't, I, I, no offense oh, to any of the others. I know, I right? I that out they kind of were though. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's they were just that that they you like know, the adrenaline. And, yeah. 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 Well, you have like five minutes to be like, do you smoke, drink, do drugs? Do you feel safe at home? Do you would you accept a blood transfusion? Like all that. Like you have Great. all Let's that. Like mm -hmm. I could do that like all day. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, it, it, that's super interesting. I knew this wouldn't go anywhere close to how we normally do Atlas Lives whatsoever. It's a life story so in a it is right. Yeah. But I think it's interesting though, and especially for all the nurses that have asked before, do you hire nurses as recruiters, mm -hmm. right? I mean, the answer is yes, but I, I think as, as, you, as you can see, there's, there's backstory to it, mm -hmm. right? And you mm -hmm. have to be, you have to understand yourself first and know like this is, this is a leap I want to take. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a change. Yeah, huge. Yeah, and it Big goes deal. back to that. I know there's a lot of skepticism on like that recruiter traveler relationship. Like is it genuine, is it real? Like. Mm -hmm. She's I'm in my fine. baby shower, yeah. She's in my baby shower, my wedding, and everything. Right. And I know not all of them are love stories. Like, yeah. you know, like, they're not all, like, the story of us. Like, yep. But, like, sh seriously, she's, you know. Mm -hmm. BFS. Yeah. Right. Real. I'm at her house right now. Like, living at her house for this With week. With my five children. And my and baby. And her child. Yeah. So, and there was a lizard that attacked her last night. Last night. It happened. No big it deal. happened. Does Todd want to come to my house for a while? He probably might oh, feel man. safer there. Okay. He, He's he a little can worried. come over again. Yeah. It's fine. So, Sorry. but... It, perspective right yes. I mean it, it's it, it you just you have to you have to go through those steps in your head to decide like this mm -hmm. is this is a it's a career change like it is a drastic career change yeah. so and once but again it comes full circle because it's it's made her appreciate her nursing career absolutely even more, doing yes. this side of the job so that's but also like to see too. she made it look really easy mm. I really easy yeah and like not like easy like just easy like doing what you're doing but mm -hmm. like oh it's gonna be a little while till you grind and get your get your desk you know mm -hmm. and I was like okay yeah yeah people tell me things are hard all the time sure you, you know what I do for right, right. right. Mm -hmm. it's hard like it's not easy like there's a lot of work it's a yeah. lot of time a lot of effort and it's I mean it's, it's good yeah. it's it's actually amazing because like I'm learning to use a different part of my brain for once yeah. but yeah it's not easy I think I say that all the time. Well, so, yeah. But and I, I have a feeling though, if roles were reversed and we were in oh a gosh. hospital setting, right? Oh. It, so many people would die. It, they should not <laughs> do this scenario. Right? I don't even remember CPR. I, yes. Just, just, they make it look easy on the yes. TV. I can it's put totally a band aid on. Yeah. Really good at that, yeah. especially for make believe boo boos. Yeah. But once again, you make it look easy. Yeah. Right? You make it look easy. Yep. So, there's there's just there's that balance there mm -hmm. there's that balance so yeah i megan thank you so much i really 
I really appreciate you. I thought you were going to bring the baby in. I, you know, That's but. what she said. Sorry, oh. I just wanted to do it. <laughs> I just had to get just it one in. Time. Just one. And you didn't and swear once, one. too. Didn't, you were so a, worried about swearing, and you didn't swear once. <laughs> filter was on. ER nurses. Yeah, they get it. Oh, Megan, thank you so much. I am okay. One, I'm glad that you're here. Two, I'm glad you're a recruiter with us. Like, I really, I believe you bring an extra level to our recruiting team here at Atlas, yeah. a along with the other nurses that are recruiters yeah. for us mm -hmm. as well, right? It's I think that, that we don't necessarily understand completely. Absolutely. We try, cool. we do it all day, but we don't. Yes. We, we haven't been there. Nope. We haven't worked that 12 hour oh. shift, 10 hour, eight the hour. I mean, like, not, session. I'm not trying to pimp Atlas, but like, like having nurses that work can like actually see you the situation. Pimp Atlas. So like, look at all, we're well, yeah, we're, we're pimping, Atlas. we're pimping Atlas, but like, so a nurse has a problem, like at a facility or with a patient care mm -hmm. issue, right? Like you have nurses mm -hmm. here, like you have nurses, not just mm -hmm. saying me, but there's other nurse that works here. Absolutely. Two, two three. 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 Mm -hmm. And three. that. Four. four. Yeah, oh, kind of well, four. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell that story. Wait, it's you've a, got Mike Spies. Oh, Mike was a nurse? Yeah, he was an ER nurse. Yeah, oh. I guess he was you've an ER nurse. You've got Heather. Nurse. Yeah. You've got Leah. Mm -hmm. You've got one who I'm not supposed yeah, to name because she wants to remain anonymous. She's like a Voldemort nurse, yeah. Did you not know this? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was in the, the, my orientation class. Right? She keeps that a secret. She's like, it's on the down low. Mm -hmm. well, you can see the caring side. You can see it. Yep. Wow. You just like squint. Like, Didn't know that. that. I think they probably got that. On probably the picked it up on the, on the mic there. Yeah, this doesn't really well, need Well, and then. The that's why you don't tell Hannah secrets. Right, that's true. And one of our biggest advocates, too, uh, I mean, Bob Hink's wife, Patty. Is, oh, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, she's yeah. practically. Yeah. We don't so pay, almost six. We don't pay her. No. Regardless no. of what people online say. She's awesome. Unbelievable. Yeah, she's a great it, resource to everybody. Great resource, though. To me, even. Amazing she like, yeah. resource. She's like commenting yes. on myself. I'm like, oh, right, yes. yeah, there's Patty. But like, yes. so, so six now, technically. Technically. Any ethical okay. situations, right? Like, that come mm -hmm. up, especially like mm -hmm. with patient care issues, right? Like, I love you, but like, if yeah. someone came and like, yeah. this is what happened with this patient, she's like, mm? yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and joint commission mm -hmm. requires that we employ in some way a nurse that's yes. going to be able to be our clinical liaison mm -hmm. and we don't have to outsource for that we get to do it all in-house mm -hmm. and yep. you get your and there's choice different nurses. of there's six of them technically right. yeah mm -hmm. and they come all different specialties er mm -hmm. heather pick you pick you, pick you. Uh -huh. uh, patty's icu patty's icu yeah yeah, yeah. so it's all of them mm -hmm. mike was er and the other yeah. one we're just not going to talk about and pretend right. like I, I never said that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. no, not on the microphone at all. Learn mm -hmm. something new every day, I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, all right, Megan, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. you being here. Hannah, as always, thank you. No, thank you. Go go find more nurses That's to. What she uh, said. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I just had to do it one more time. We'll see you next week.